Moshi Moshi, Miami Gamers, and welcome back to Genshi Impact. When the time comes, I shall dance and turn the tracks beneath my people's feet back to the stars in the sky. Today, we're going to continue doing the Summer Sky event. It looks like we're going to ride a train station. Is that what it looks like? Get up, Sensual. Time to get to work, you lazy bones. Oh, 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 I can't, uh, can't remember how to call the train. What? Just let me sleep a little longer, and I'm sure I'll remember. Don't try to pull one over on me, young man. Your fading disorder has been cured. I saw you chugging cup after cup of magic tonic in the tavern last night. Uh, you must be mistaken, Grandpa Allman. That guy definitely wasn't me. Oh, you remember my name now, do you? Then it seems like you're all better. You had no idea who I was when you were fading. Now, enough of your nonsense. Get up. The fairy and her friends are going to be here any second. All right. I'm up. I'm up. The Maritime Express should be here soon. <laughs> That's more like it. Ah, lie there any longer and you'll start gathering dust. Uh, is everything okay? The hero, his pixie companion, and the forest fairy. Oh, I, I didn't know you were already here. Oh, merciful macadamias. I I'm sorry you had to see that. Oh, it's all right. Paimon knows the feeling. Who doesn't want to sleep in first thing in the morning? Does the Maritime Express run out of Constellation Metropole? Uh, yes. E each train needs a conductor to operate, and the conductors are always from the capital. The more difficult maneuvers are a little too complicated when you're made of paper. Oh! So you mean the people of Constellation Metropole aren't origami animals like you? Well, the, the city welcomes visitors from all over the world, so you're bound to run into some forest dwellers there. But yes, generally speaking, the residents of Constellation Metropole look quite different from us. But you'll see for yourself soon enough. Here comes the train. Oh my god, they're like little puppets. to meet you everyone my name is will and i'll be the conductor for your journey today i'm assuming you're the ones who called the train whoa it's a little toy man yes we we called the train the hero and the forest fairy need a ride to constellation metropole the, the hero and the forest fairy the ones from the prophecy yes why didn't you say so earlier we could have prepared a far more luxurious train i'll just go back and get a better one that's okay mr wheel we're trying to get to the city as fast as possible we just need you to get us across the sea in your capable hands i'm sure we'll get there in no time uh, of course my lady it would be an honor well then, all aboard, sit anywhere you like. We'll get a stunning view of Simulanka no matter where you're seated. Um, there's like only one spot. What do you mean? <sighs> oh, breakfast. Hmm? Did one of you just say something? No, not me. It wasn't me either. No. Oh, breakfast. Um, no, come back. Wait, that's not Kiwawa. Sounds like the voice is coming from inside the train. <sighs> it is! Look at the paws! <laughs> oh my god, they pick our head out. Chicken drumsticks. I'll got ya. I'll poke a paw and be like, hey! Kiwawa, wake your ass up. <laughs> oh, she is eating her own tail, apparently. Is she a friend of yours? Yes. Oh, let Paimon introduce you. This is Kirara. She's... Oh, wait. Actually, maybe we should wake her up first. So noisy. I is it morning already? Um, good meowing. <laughs> Oh, thank goodness. It was all a dream after all. <laughs> oh, 
gotta hand it to my imagination, it all felt super real. There were these toy people, but they were alive and they could talk. Um, madam, sleeping overnight in the train car is prohibited. <laughs> it, it wasn't just a dream. Civilization. <laughs> What it's called. I spent all day yesterday wandering around this one city. Uh, the toy people called it Constellation Metropole. I was trying to find a way to get back home. <sighs> I was seriously starting to think I'd gotten on the bad side of some great yokai and gotten swallowed whole. Huh. I take it you're Inazuman then, Miss Kirara? She sure is. But uh, Kirara here is kind of special. Paimon introduce you for real this time. Kirara is a Nekomata from Inazuma. She works as a courier for Komania Express. Ah, nice to meet you. I'm Nilu, a member of Zubair Theater. You can usually find us performing in Sumeru City's Grand Bazaar. Right now, though, I suppose I should introduce myself as the Fairy of the Forest of Blessings. Oh, you're Nilu. I've heard a lot about you from my deliveries in Sumeru. I even saw one of your performances back in the day. You're an amazing dancer. But, uh, did you say you were a... forest fairy? Oh, yeah, that's her new identity here in Simulanka. Oh, speaking of new identities, looks like you got a new outfit yourself, Kirara! Yeah, I know! It confused the heck out of me yesterday. I just woke up in a set of brand new clothes I'd never seen before. That must mean you have a big part to play here, too! Mm, yeah, look at the outfit. She's like, huh? As a Nekoma in boots. Is... is that a thing? I guess I am wearing a pair of boots, but still. Did you by any chance hear a voice speaking to you before you got here, Miss Kirara? A voice... Oh, yeah, I did hear something, but I was so freaked out my tails got all tangled. So I, uh... <laughs> Didn't catch much of what was said. <laughs> s s sorry for the interruption, but this uh, Nekomata friend of yours, she doesn't eat hamsters, does she? <laughs> or frogs? Oh, no need to worry, little guys. I would never do something like that. Well, unless I've been out in the wild too long without anything to eat. Oh, speaking of eating, I am getting a little hungry. <laughs> Not you guys, you're just paper. <clears throat> Where are your manners, everyone? Uh, this young lady is a trusted friend of our esteemed hero. Now, I know a fear of felines is etched into us with ink, but I'm certain Miss Nekomata in boots here means us no harm. It sure looks like you're keeping your distance, though, Grandpa Holmond. You will have nothing to fear, I promise. I met some origami animals in Constellation Metropole yesterday, and I even made sure to retract my claws so I didn't hurt them by accident. Plus, you all look just about as tasty as the cardboard boxes I deliver. <laughs> uh, not that I tried to eat you even if you did look tasty. Uh, promise. Please excuse us, Mom. Uh, it's just an unconscious reaction. <clears throat> Dear passengers, it's almost time for us to depart. Oh, yeah, that. Whoops. This turned into a pretty long conversation, didn't it? All right, let's get on the train! You coming with us, Kirara? Mm-hmm. I'll ride with you to the next stop. There's a place near the Metro Bowl that caught my eye yesterday, so I want to go explore it today. Then all that remains for me to say is, on behalf of the Forest of Blessings, thank you once again for all you've done for us. May the Goddess of Fate be with you and bless your journey. Madam Fairy, Miss Nekomata in Boots, and our brave heroes. Please do visit us in the Forest of Blessings again, once peace has returned to this land. We will! We'll definitely meet again! Take care, Grandpa Almond! Alright, this is part two! They want to walk the starry sky. Okay, um, before anything, before we go, actually, um, did I saw a teleport spot somewhere in the map? Yeah, I did. Uh, but understanding, when you do those little fun events, you get Kiwara for free and plus a free outfit. Because she's a four-star. I don't have Kiwara for a four-star collection, even Kavi. Oh, wait, never mind, I do have Kavi. 
Okay, father, watch out. Your stamina is so low. Now we wide. Eh? Really? Um, connect! Can I watch the co-op, friends? If it lets me? Okay, we'll take the pop. Oh, can I sit with them? <laughs> I think... You know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna sit down. No, wait, hold on. No, hold on. Uh, let's go! Now we sit down. <laughs> it looks awkward. It's like, who is this woman who is sitting next to us? Wow, a train ride over the sea? What an incredible view! Like, it's, who is... Please keep your head and arms inside the train at all times. We don't want anyone falling into the sea. Um, we'll be fine. What is swing the train? The train coming the other way too. Hey! Look, now what up? The fading disorder is cured. I'm sure the forest will be a lively place again in no time. I gotta go explore that forest at some point. It looked so pretty from the train. I just hope they uh won't be too scared of me. Hmm, cause you're a cat. <laughs> Put on the we'll be arriving at our destination shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Okay, we're, we're here already. Don't stay at Anya like, oh my god, who is this woman who was seen below Tina? Here we are! Consolation Metropole is right over there. It's a short walk from here to the Gear Sky Ladder, which will take you right to Metropole Square. And thank you again for choosing Maritime Express. Great! And thanks to you for a smooth and pleasant journey, Mr. Wheel. The train cars were comfortable and spacious, and I had a great night's sleep. I'll definitely be back. Um, as you wish, ma'am. Not in the train, of course. Okay. No Ooh, another stop to it. Oh, where should we go next? Is that place you wanted to check out nearby? Mm-hmm. I took a walk around yesterday, and it felt like there was something weird about it. So, I think I'll indulge my curiosity and go investigate. Want us to come with you? It's okay. You guys go ahead and visit the Metropole for now. Hopefully, that's where you'll be able to find out some more about this world. I pretty much explored the whole place from the rooftops yesterday, but for some reason, this is the place that caught my attention. <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Like, when you get a stone stuck in your claw or something, it keeps nagging at you to dig it out, but you can't focus on anything else until you do. Don't worry, if you run into any trouble, I'll be there faster than you can say, Gold Level Courier of the Comania Express. Okay, fair enough. We'll head to the Metropole then. Guess this is where we say bye for now. Stay safe, Kiwala. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about me. Let's not forget, I'm a yokai. Okay, before anything else, let's just teleport over here and... Ooh. Kiwawa? Why is she over? I guess we'll talk to her. Hey, are you guys already finished with everything in the Metropole? No need to prioritize me. Uh, there's just this place I really want to go check out. Feel free to get back to me once you've got everything sorted out. Oh. I'll be right back. Sure. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, I was a confused. Like, why is there a blue exclamation point here in the first place? Okay, anyways, uh, we do gotta go that way, apparently. But, this, why do I hear some workers about- Oh, yeah, there's some enemies here. Hey, you! I see a chest I need to bite! Come here! Take this! Snap your finger! Burn them all! Father! Nuh-uh. Okay, 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 we got that done. Huh. Something with which to okay. this occasion. Okay, let's go to our destination. Hey, look at this guys. Okay. This one, uh I'm gonna move this way. This one is this is a fun puzzle. You do this. Oh. Yeah, come this way. Oh shit. Um Okay. What? Hold on, hold on. Let me do this again. So if I do this... Okay. And then I turn the... 
Oh, did I get it? Never mind. It took me a while to figure it out. A second to figure it out. Because some of these mechas are a little confusing. This way. Okay. And then now you just touch this. And then you're gonna come this way. Father's like, I'm doing the work for the children. Uh, hey, family, what are you doing? Okay, father. I uh, just do this and that's it. Yes. Wow. This is this is really entertaining, father. Oh, yes it is. Okay, how many more you gotta do this, actually? Is that it? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, those that Above his head. Hmm? Those two? Really? Oh, I got it. Time it. Come back to me. Hey, did they do a chest, though? If there's any scrap metal okay. or parts you don't want, I'll... Oh, she literally was talking. There's a chest next to us. Goddess of prophecy above, would you kind souls please help us? What happened here? Why are you all suspended in midair? I mean, being stuck in midair still beats falling to the ground and being smashed into a pile of blocks, but... I told him to be careful, but... No, never mind. Now's not the time for that. My good friends, could I trouble you to turn the clockwork key over there? I'll explain everything in a bit. Um. Yeah, sure. Okay, in the videos of Clone's Metro, you can sometimes see some small toy if you fix about a constellation clockwork device. This is a gift from the goddess of prophecy to the metaphor, and it can help toy figures who have encountered danger return to the right track. I attack the clockwork device to greatly rewind the swanny scene. After riding, keep everything still for two seconds, and the toy figures' fair check will begin to move once more. You will find clues in the scene that interferes with movement, used to change the fate of toy figures. Okay, you got it. Um. Okay. Hey, uh oh. Keep swinging, keep swinging, keep swinging. Keep swinging back, keep swinging back. Okay, there you go. The original pile of wisdom is like we used to play for article, but it was other use today. As you feel the way article pillar, the interaction buttons will emerge. Press it and the magic magic thread will fly towards the article pillar next to you and then connect to it. And when I'm able to connect, you can attack the connect article pillar to the article state. I gotta hold you up. Okay, you're good. Yeah? Is it a little back? Alright, we're done packing up. Bro! Don't don't be going back, you're gonna fall over. Oh, oh thank you. Oh thank you. Uh what happened there? It almost seemed like we turned back time. I take it this is your first time witnessing the power of the goddess of prophecy then? If so, I can see why you might think that. Basically, this is a gift bestowed upon Constellation Metropole by the Goddess of Prophecy, who rules over the natural course of all things. It helps those who have deviated from their proper path to get back on track. Proper path? Do you mean everything that happens in the Metropole has been planned out since the very beginning? Why are you saying that as if it's a bad thing? You're not explaining it clearly. Here, allow me. Of course, all the residents of the Metropole have the freedom to live their own lives. For instance, whether I use olive oil or sesame oil in my morning skincare routine is entirely my choice. But whenever something disastrous is about to happen, like when I almost got turned into a pile of rubble just now, the goddess's magic will activate in the world around us. So, in other words, it's kind of protection magic to keep people alive? You could say that. There are other situations in which it activates too, but that's basically correct. Well, in any case, we're glad no one's hurt. Are you heading to the Constellation Metropole? Yep. Do you know where we can find the Gear Sky Ladder? Oh, it's just that platform up ahead. The one with the key sticking out. Uh, that thing? Um, are you sure? Yep, that's the one. Pretty much everything in the Metropole runs on tracks and gears. The Goddess of Prophecy watches over it all. Which is to say, all the tracks are fixed. If a machine is set up to move forwards, it'll never move in reverse. This reminds Paimon a lot of Fontaine's clockwork toys. Pretty much. I mean, 
Like those music boxes with dancing figures? I think I've seen one or two from the merchants in Sumeru. Yeah, exactly like that. Anyway, sounds like it's not gonna suddenly fall out of the sky, so Paimon's okay now. Should we get going? Yeah, of course. Okay, we do have a chest over here. Ooh, there's a lot of treasure here. Okay. <laughs> Talk to Olaf. What? Oh, was that a little fan thing? The gear's color is important me to transport in the collection of metaphor. Attack the device to elevate ladder and make it move. When the gear is fully charged, it will stop moving and the scholar will also stop moving. If the gear is not attacked for some time, the scholar will turn the way it came. Hmm, okay. Lynette, you do it. Gotta keep swinging. Keep on swinging. Keep on swinging. Keep on swinging. Oh. Can I go out, please? Excuse me. Thanks. Ooh. What is this location? Oh, I see now. Just on the right side. Oh, what a bustling city! This place is fit for a king. Our next step is to get to the top of the metropole and ask the goddess of prophecy for guidance. If there is a king in that castle, I sure hope he won't get mad at us for trespassing. No. Or oh, they probably think we would? <laughs> the hell? He's trip over. It's like help. Okay, he's good. Make way for the king. Oh darn, we jinxed it. Oh no. Um, did he overhear us talking about us sneaking into his castle? <laughs> Paimon hopes he's not mad. Silence. <laughs> The one who shall soon stand before you is the ruler of Constellation Metropole. The one who descended after a meteor shower and the protector of order and all the stars in the sky. That's a long list of titles. I bid ye welcome guests from afar. Oh my god, that's Navia. Long have I heard of your grand deeds. She's wearing a cup. <gasps> what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Oh, hero, who, uh, uh huh? <laughs> what is that looking lost mustache she's wearing? <laughs> the hell, woman? Bombastic sight. Oh, my God. Yeah. Exactly, Paimon. <laughs> Hold your foul tongue. How dare you utter Her Majesty's name? Must see, Your Majesty. <laughs> nice one, partner. Spectacular improvisation skills. I'd expect no less from you. All right, all right. You can relax now. Allow me to make some introductions. This is the Traveler and his trusty companion, Paimon. You are personal friends with Her Majesty the King? Please, forgive our grievous mistake. We had no idea. <clears throat> all right. The welcome ceremony is over. Everyone back to your stations. I will personally treat our guests to some royal <laughs> hospitality. Yes, Your Majesty. I She's like the Princess Pisces Yazi. You must be well, more squibber for your... Oh, come on. I've already sent them off. So, anyway, how did you guys get here? We were gonna ask you the same thing! Also, how are you already king of this nation? And where did you get a crown? Oh, wait, don't say it. You just woke up like this, right? Sounds like you've answered your own question. But before I woke up, I heard a voice say to me, You are the king of Constellation Metropole. Could you say no queen people. instead? And save your city. A similar thing happened to me. Oh, yeah, sorry. You must be the fairy of the Forest of Blessings, right? Mm -hmm. This is Nilu, a friend that we made during our time in Sumeru. Nice to meet you, Miss Nilu. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. If you ever get the chance to go to Fontaine, make sure you come and visit me. I'm based in Poisson. Seems like you're taking this all in stride. Aren't you nervous about getting stuck here and never being able to get back home? Why would I be worried about that? We faced much bigger problems than this before, and we always pull through. This should be a piece of cake. Besides, life's always full of surprises. You gotta learn to just enjoy it. That sounds like a great outlook on life. You have a very optimistic spirit. Thanks. I'll take that. Honestly, though, it also puts me at ease to find out that you guys are the fairy and heroes that I've been hearing about in this prophecy. 
<laughs> We're kind of veterans at dealing with prophecies by now, aren't we? Uh, about that. Has anything bad happened in the Metropole? We heard about an evil dragon. Did it make a mess here, too? It sure did. Apparently, for whatever reason, he went for the stars above the city recently. Literally just flew up and started snatching them out of the sky. Luckily, the guards responded quickly and stopped the dragon from taking them back to his lair. Unfortunately, though, he dropped them before he flew off. Now they're scattered all around the Metropole. I've been out trying to retrieve them, but I only managed to get one of them before you showed up. Oh, I didn't ask yet. What brings you to the Metropole anyway? Oh, Paimon can explain. Go on. <laughs> huh. I see. So, you want to consult the Oracle of the Goddess of Prophecy. Do you know how we can do that, Miss Navia? Well, the Goddess's statue is indeed at the top of the castle. I can take you oh up Oh my god, this is like a- this is like Fischl's castle. Unless she's somehow in here, that'd be kind of crazy. However, I've heard from the citizens here that the Goddess hasn't given out any new revelations in a very long time. Really? But Grandpa Almond told us that he received his prophecy from the Goddess. Oh, uh, that's probably because the prophecy about the hero of Simulanka has been around for a very long time. But recently, people realized that the Goddess didn't reveal anything about what's supposed to happen after peace has been restored. Huh. Okay. Still, can't hurt to try your luck. And maybe you can help me get rid of the invaders while we're at it. Invaders? So the dragon's not your only problem? Right. The forest isn't the only place where strange things have been happening to the residents. Have you come across the gift from the Goddess of Prophecy yet? You mean... the protection magic oh that stops God. them from coming to harm? We saw it in action. Yep, that's the one. Over the past little while, this magic has been triggering far more frequently. We don't know if it's simply because the Metropole has grown a lot more dangerous, or if there's a deeper reason behind it. Some residents find themselves getting stuck in a place and unable to move. Others start repeating the same thing over and over again. Like they're trapped in some kind of loop. If we were to use clockwork toys as an analogy, could it be that the tracks have eroded? Or the gears have slid out of place? That's exactly right, Nilu. That's basically what's happening. Anyway, some of the monsters outside the city saw this as an opportunity to launch an invasion. Uh, but we didn't see a single monster on our way here. That's because I already took care of most of them over the past couple of days. Of the remaining few, we trapped some of them inside the castle and chased the rest back out of the city. Okay, so to summarize, not only has the magic here gotten all messed up, but the dragons also knocked some of the stars out of the sky. Plus, there's a bunch of monsters in the city. <sighs> Sounds like there's a lot more to fix here than in the Forest of Blessings. Well, defeating the dragon and the monsters should be straightforward enough. But how do we fix the magic? Supposedly, the goddess has had it all planned out for ages. One of her oldest prophecies says this. Go and push the gear that connects up to the starry sky. When that time comes, I shall dance and return the tracks beneath my people's feet back to the stars in the sky. Huh? But weren't the tracks the gift that she gave to her people in the first place? Does that mean she plans to take the gift back? That's what the prophecy seems to be saying, yes. So, as a result, some people are against turning the gear, despite what the prophecy says since they fear a future where they no longer enjoy the goddess's protection. But letting this drag on isn't the answer either, is it? No, and I think they know that. But they're just too afraid to take that final, terrifying step. They're still hoping there might be an alternative solution. Now, we could ignore their objections and go turn the gear ourselves, but... Hmm, you want to be considerate of their feelings. Exactly. You know me well. And that's why you're my partner. I want to get as many people on my side as possible. At the end of the day, this is their city. And they should have the right to decide its future. Ooh, spoken like a true wise king, Navia. Queen. I am the boss of Spina di Rosula, after all. 
This may be my first time as a king, but there are a few similarities between the two roles. Traveler, Paimon, Miss Nilu, would you be willing to lend me your support? With your help, I'm confident we'll be able to find the most frictionless way to resolve the problems plaguing this city. Sure thing, boss. Ah, uh, thanks, partner. Seriously, like we'd ever say no. We're your friends. No need to ask us so formally in the future. I'm happy to help, too. This is a beautiful city. And just like the Forest of Blessings, I would love to see it return to normal as soon as possible. Ah, great. As the king of Constellation Metropole, I extend to you my gratitude. All right, everyone, follow me. I'll show you the way to the goddess statue at the top of the Metropole. And stay close. You don't want to get lost in my castle. It's huge. Ooh. Yeah, it's just meant to be huge, but hold on a sec. Didn't I sell what I think I saw? Yes, I did. Let me grab this first. Let me grab this. How are you stand in the water? Okay, I do gotta move this, don't I? Keep attacking, keep attacking. Okay. He stays right here. And. Is that good? That fell over. Okay, is that good? Is that good? Let's down tip over. Please fall in under a line. Shit. That was not good. Gotta restart. Restart, 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 restart them line. Um, is that good? I don't know. The way this guy is standing, it doesn't look right. No, it doesn't look right. This is cut open. Okay, oh, I see what's going on. Okay, you go ahead and. Okay, line go this way, and now you go this way. Dale! Now you get to as in line. The white way. There you go. Line up. Red, blue, red. Okay. Thank you for your patronage. Hey, that's like. Yes, it is. Now let's go. Oh, look at these people on patrol. Hold on, hold on. Before I do anything else, let me actually get this. I have like. Hold on. How many wishes do I have actually? 91 wishes. No, that's, that's crazy because I'm not pulling for anyone until nothing comes out. <gasps> Is that a people gem? Can I grab it? Huh? What's this? Wait. This looks like the star I found earlier. I told the guards to place it near the goddess statue. Maybe they ran into some trouble up there. Mm. Guess we'd better hurry. Yeah, we better one. Can I... Oh, we're holding it. Did I saw a chest somewhere? Oh, yes I did. Okay, hold up. Let me do this for fun, guys. Let's hold up, okay? It's for content. One, two, three, two, power. Me too. Yes, we I'll be the ghost. When I turn around, don't move with muscle. This is a little squid game. That's what it is. Okay, this will be interesting. Hmm. What if you see yourself? Okay, challenge start. I gotta keep. Oh. Oh, wait. I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna cheat by running fast. That's your wait. Don't you turn around. <gasps> ah! Touch! Like nothing happened. <laughs> I didn't cheat. I totally didn't cheat. Okay. We do gotta go up now. Oh boy, here we go. Whew. I mean, I have to turn to eat, but oh. There's a trap. What do you mean there's a trap? So if I grab the apple, what happens? Of course there was a trap, I'm not dumb. Yeah, let's do this. Go for me. Hey! I mean, at least it's a chest, yeah? Hmm, I'm lost on the side. Do I care? Let me in! Let me in! I don't... I can't... <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah! Come on, we got the house of the heart over here. We got the house of the heart over here. Just open the gate, go. Oh, I didn't see that. Couldn't I just step on that instead? It'd be more easier. I don't care about monsters. Lenny! Like, that is. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm seal. Hey! Oh, seal them. Yeah, burn them, burn them, burn them, burn them, burn them. Sweet. 
Yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah, father is too strong. It's a snap and glitch out. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, some monsters are warming around here. Yeah, we got this, we got this. Yeah, go and try swing at me. So you're guys the hell? Why are you healing trolls? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that's right. Go Lenny! You both die. Yeah, shoot them off. Yeah, aim for head. Aim for head. Oh, you miss. That was literally shit. Okay. Oh, yeah, look, there's a chest up here too. Yeah, why is this heal? Why is this heal? We don't need that heal. No, uh -uh. we don't. Oh, my enemies. Hey, there's chest over here. Yeah, suck it in, suck it in. If we better get caught, it's safe now. Really? Thank you so much. You can save by the house of the hive. Let's take your chest. This is like extras we're getting actually. But that's very interesting. Gotta see some stamina. Oh, is the guy good? What happened? Do you mind telling me? Two people ran in. Hey, they're dancing. They have to start with them too. Stoy! But there are too many monsters. Too many? Leave it to Nanette and the family of the hive. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> How did they get in? That's what I'm interested in. How did he get in? Hey, you fox! Yeah! Dramatic entrance! Come here, you fox! Yes. Tossing my cards at your face. Watching you bleed. Too overpowered. Hey! Hey! Thanks! Hey! Give the start to me, bitch! Yeah? You gonna give? You gonna give? Yeah, that star is mine! A bunch of. What is. Oh, okay. They need help! Let's help them out! Oh, look at you drowning! Thank yo! The band is ready. Oh, am I doing this really? I mean, okay. You know, sure, there's some chests over here. They do have chests over here. Okay. Hold on, let me do this for this first. Bounce up. Got it. He was watching. Falls like, why am I doing this? Because, why not? Okay, what I say? I can't even say. It will imitate the dance moves. What? Oh, those guys? Okay. Okay. Bounce up. Got it. Double, double up. One, two, three. That's fast. Oh, that was a little late. Okay. Oh. Oh wait, that's done. That's done. Hey, the paper drums. Thanks you. Something with which to Oh yeah. Okay, that was some extra stuff we just got from there. Okay. Now next thing to do is we head up this way with the other shits. Oh my God, there's more and we. They're stuck in a wall! You see that happening? Yeah. You motherfucks! 
Defend the side! Hey, 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 we heal! Defend the side at your cost. Is that it? Oh! Come My little son! Got it, father. Break the walk, my son. Oh, shit! He got knocked down! At the same time, he barely got hurt. That's hilarious. Um, that looks so sticky. Pull hard. It'll be tough for one person. Uh, wait, hold up. How do I do this? Um, blend and masters. Hmm. Okay, let's try this. It's stuck fast, it'll be tough. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we're gonna do this first. Okay. So I got it. Yeah. yeah. Alright, let's go pull together. Hey. Oh, yeah, you too, you Let's do it. On three. One, two, three. All together. There you go. Okay, we're good. Thank you, Lenny. You're welcome. You did great. The great magician has kicked some ass, so we'll leave it to you. Yeah, just here. This chest is some kind of trick. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. That's it. Ah, oh, is this it? <gasps> okay. Mm. Oh, there's, there's a field. These over here. What is the purpose of these, actually? Okay, temple's about to begin real quick. Oh, Lenny, <laughs> watch your stamina. You're going to lose it. Mm. Okay. Now, we're just going to do this now. Mm. <coughs> I can't move. What happened? Your Majesty, this conservative radical, he attacked us. He threw the star from the Astral Garden and even stole the magic thread linking the Oracle Pillars. But just as we were about to arrest him, the Goddess's magic activated. And now we can't move. No! Nobody touch the Celestial Gear! What's an Oracle Pillar? You need to use it to pray to the Goddess. I'll explain later. First, let's help these guys. Yep, yeah, got it. Um, wait. Tell you can open the glue to attack the spray for super glue. A super glue can put up to three if I drop the glue. Ah, so if I step right up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh no! I'll do it, children. Did you back up? Waiting for you to move. Keep it back now. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. You go right. You go right. Super glue, bitch. Super glue. What the hell? What the hell? Why is it wherever this super glue? What the fuck? What is happening? Hmm. Okay. Um. Glue. Oh, right away. Never mind that. I gotta wait to do that first. So if I was, he's like, you see, like, oh no, I'm stuck. My heels are twisting. Ouch. Ah, too bad. Stop by right there, criminal scum. <laughs> That's what he said. Hey, he's getting away. Halt. I'm gonna stay there. Okay, let him go. But your Majesty. Even if we catch up to him now, we won't be able to change his mind, much less quell the fear that many others like him are feeling. All it would do is turn him further against us. Understood, your majesty. Also, this is the magic thread he was holding from the oracle pillars. Your majesty, what should we- Ah, please give that to the traveler over there. I believe they have some questions for the goddess. Yes, your majesty. 
Give. Um, so, what do we do with this exactly? Uh, see those oracle pillars over there? Just use the magic thread to connect them together in a specific pattern. And the goddess of prophecy will answer your prayers. Oh! Sounds easy enough. Let's give it a try. Okay. Let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna be... Hey, Linda, can you do this? Okay, father. Well, this way. Um... The shape of a star? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Let me back this up real quick then. Okay. The shape of a star is what they're saying. I gotta do that first. Okay. No, no, that's too big. Okay. Put this one. And then we go over here. Okay. <laughs> we go over here. A shape of a star. Pick it up. Nice. We got it. Huh. That looks like one of the wishes from the from the group. The wish group. To which course of fate do you seek answers, my child of Simulanka? Ask how to leave this world. <laughs> Bitch! You're not gonna ask on me! Okay! Ask how to defeat that dragon. The hero from another world, supported by their companions, shall restore peace to this world. Can I leave? Um, hello? Hello? Could it wonder once what happens? I don't think say anything, so. Ask about the Simulacra's future. What? Ask about how to solve the metaphor of crisis. Go and push the gear that connects up to the starry sky. When that time comes, I shall dance and return the tracks beneath my people's feet back to the stars in the sky. I have no more questions. So, Miss Navia was right. The goddess of prophecy didn't tell us anything about the future. Fair enough. Guess we'll just have to play it by ear. If we want to push the celestial gear. Then first, we have to restore the sky back to its original state by putting the stars back in their positions. Let me do a quick count. All right. Adding in the ones we picked up on the way here, I think that's all. Nah, back it up. Let's go hang these stars back up in the sky. In the sky? Uh, how do we get up there? Oh, <laughs> I got us covered. We will, of course, be taking the Aerial Express. Is that a flying train? Oh, you're calling it the Astro Express kind of version. <laughs> okay. You already took a train that runs on water. Is a flying train really that much weirder? Well, at least the Maritime Express still runs on a track. Oh, come on. Don't worry about it. This train has been blessed by the Goddess of Prophecy. Its whole purpose is to protect the Metropole skies. It took me a lot of effort to find it, you know. I don't think anyone's used it in, like, mm, a hundred years. A hundred years? Are you sure it's safe? Let's not forget that the Goddess of Prophecy's magic has been going haywire recently. Well, it's not like we have any other options. Unless you want to do the honors, Paimon. Fancy flying up there on your own? Ooh, got you there. Uh, no, thank you. It's way too high up. Oh, wait, Milu. You've got a feel for how magic works here. Can you do your thing and sense if this train is the real deal? Um, I don't think she could do that. I can try. Hmm. Yes, I can sense traces of magic. But it's different from the kind I felt in the forest, so... I don't know. Okay, fine. Guess there's only one way to find out. That's the spirit. I'll come with you. Miss Nilu, will you be joining us? I think I'll stay behind. That way, if something does go wrong, you'll have someone on the ground to get you some help. Oh, that makes sense. Shit. If the train does break down, you can make us a giant origami crane to come bail us out. Or if a crane's too difficult, a finch could work. Um, I guess... Okay, let's go do the train. Oh, I'm gonna go up here. Look, father, we're on the train. Wow. Behave, children. This is not Disneyland, okay? Well, it's kind of this. Okay. Why the express train? Oh, she gets the front seat. Okay, I'll get the back seat. Ooh, this looks fun. I'm just seeing you. Express, moving out. 
Can I sit behind Navia? Navia? Ooh! Oh my god, I could. What an amazing feeling. I've never been on a flying train before. Neither have we. Hey, look, we're, we're couples, right? <laughs> we're like couples now. Because the blonde hair, surely. Eh? What? Place? Oh, shit, I got <laughs> I gotta do it quickly. I'm just staying right here next to you, Navia. Uh, I won't end, but you know who can kick my ass? You know the answer. It's, it's gonna be Ayaka. She's not here! But still, she's gonna know! We are so high up. Don't look down. Don't look down. Ah! Oh, I did. Hang in there, Paimon. The hard part's nearly over. After that, it's downhill all the way. <laughs> Bye, Ma. It's a puss. Okay. That's one. And that's two. <laughs> We're finally done. Okay, let's get back down while this train is still working. Bye, Ma. It's being a scary pussy. Okay, we're done. Dilu, is, is it safe for you while we're gone? Great job. It looked well like it all died. went smoothly. Yeah, and it was an absolute blast, too. You got a ride with us next time, Miss Nilu. Huh? Uh, I'm okay. Uh, thanks for. What's going on? Halt! What do you think you're doing? You you Get you out shit. of my way! What's going on? Your Majesty, there! Let us through! Stay back! It's okay. Let them through. <laughs> Your Majesty, could we please ask you? Not to turn the gear that connects up to the sky. And why is that? As you have seen, the goddess's gift is very important to us. It keeps us from harm and protects our very lives. Some of us, we just aren't ready to lose that protection. I see. I understand. Huh? Your Majesty, do you mean... I won't turn that gear. Not until you're ready. What? I've said before that the Metropole belongs to the people, and they should have the right to decide its future. <sighs> but let me ask you this. How do you plan to solve the issues we are currently facing? Well, we'll start by rescuing the people that have gotten stuck. And then we'll find a way to figure out the true cause of this crisis. And have you made any headway on that? The true cause, I mean. Unfortunately not. Hey, you little... Oh, we want to call it a shit or something? I'm sorry, my friend, but it's the truth. You have friends and family that have been affected, don't you? That have gotten stuck? Duh. I understand your concerns. But if we let this drag on for much longer, the situation may well get worse. More and more people will be frozen by the goddess's magic. Yes, but if we turn that gear now, all the tracks in this city will disappear. I know this is a hard decision to make. But, have you ever thought about why the Goddess might have made things this way in the first place? Huh? Why do you think she might decide to take back her gift, and stop revealing further prophecies about the future? Are you saying she has abandoned us? No. Quite the opposite, in fact. What do you mean? The Goddess dearly loves this world, and all the people of Simulanka. And because she loves you so much, she wants you to be able to choose your own path. <sighs> Every parent hopes their child will have a happy and carefree life. But if they're overprotective, then all they'll manage to do is keep their child so trapped. If a mother a bird lets her baby ride on her wings for too long, her child will never learn how to fly. Perhaps the goddess of prophecy has always known that one day she'll have Excuse to me, let go. Children can only become independent if they're allowed to form their own opinions, make their own decisions, and deal with the consequences on their own. Only then will they be able to continue their journey alone, even after their parents are gone. But we've relied on the goddess's protection for so long. We don't know what it's like to go it alone. We don't know if we have what it takes. Are you kidding me? I think you've proven yourselves more than capable of that. What do you mean? You made a call in a time of crisis, and you've come all this way to talk to me. 
Even the guards couldn't stop you. That must have taken a lot of courage. But we only did it because we were scared. Why you set out on the journey doesn't matter. What matters is that you've proven you can choose your own path. <sighs> My friend, I fear our king is right. It is time for us to face our fears. What? But, but we... We can't go on living like this. Living in fear. Look at what it's driven you to do. You threw away a star personally created by the goddess of prophecy herself. <laughs> you once revered her more than any of us. And I think the king is right. She hasn't abandoned us. So, why don't we put our trust in her one more time? <laughs> I don't care anymore. Do what you want. That guy's stubborn. Oh, break his bit. Okay, he's done. Aw, he left. I'm sorry about my friend. That's just how he is. Always had a terrible temper. Please accept my apology for his impudent behavior. Is it just me, or has he accepted the goddess? I can't see that. Purpose? That's all me. I think so. Not that oh, you'll ever hear him admit doing? it out loud, Your Majesty. Please turn the gear that connects up to the sky. So, you've made up your mind? About giving up the goddess's gift? Yes, I've made up my mind. But maybe losing the gift isn't what this is about anymore. Because we've gained something, too. You have given us courage. <laughs> well said. I am proud of your decision. Now, gather around, everyone. And join me as we make the night sky of this wonderful city turn once more. Okay, this is cussing. Oh, it is. Come on. Let's go, girls and little puppets. Even Paimon? You wait like one ton. Are you doing that? Hey, look at that. This is amazing. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, what's next? So the stars hanging in the sky, they're music notes. This entire metropole is a huge music box. That's incredible. How do you feel? A little scared well, and uncertain. Out. But for some reason, I feel a lot more at ease. It's as if... Some kind of huge weight has been lifted from my shoulders. Uh, figured out any next steps? To be honest, not really. But maybe I can start by having a heart-to-heart -heart with that stubborn friend of mine. I have an idea. If you don't know what to do, why don't you start by helping the people around you? You mean you stay back, that's people why, who got stuck because of the goddess's magic? I mean anyone no, and it, everyone who needs Let's take damage! Let's take damage! By helping others? You'll eventually find your own oh, no. path. <laughs> Trust me. I have experience in this. What kind of experience, Your Majesty? Hmm. Uh, yes. We'll need a formal organization with a catchy name before we go out and start helping people. Why don't we call it the Spina di Rosula? Again? Spina di Rosula? Ooh. I or did even the Spina di Rosula di Simulanca. Yeah, that's catchy. Sounds about better. Wow, big expansion for the Spina. Moving <clears throat> into other worlds now. Spina di Rosula. <laughs> I like it. It's a great name. Let's do as your majesty suggests. Well then, how about I appoint you as the head of the Spina in Simulanka? While I'm off fighting the dragon with the other heroes, it'll be your responsibility to work with the guards and take good care of the people in the metropole. What? You're planning on fighting the dragon? But no, your majesty, you must reconsider. No, He's right. Your majesty, you can't. How are you two on the same side all of a sudden? Perhaps your majesty is unaware of this. The great dragon suddenly broke out from the titanium mines one day and tore the end of the world to pieces. After that, <laughs> it spat out a strange fog that surrounded a whole island. Yeah. No one knows what lies beyond the fog. 
and no one knows what has become of that poor island. Before your majesty arrived, we dispatched many soldiers to fight the dragon, but none came back alive. Yikes. Sounds worse than we thought. Isn't that all the more reason for us to go? There could still be guards trapped there, waiting for someone to rescue them. King Navia is right. We cannot Queen stand by Navia. as the people of this world suffer. <sighs> very well. Though I have not served by your side for very long, your majesty. Two days is enough for me to have learned that once your mind is set, any attempts to change it are futile. <laughs> You're a pretty good judge of character. Um, he probably didn't mean that as a compliment. Since you're serious about this, I won't try and stop you. There's only one way to reach the end of the world, and that's by taking the Maritime Express. Oh, right. So there's a line going there too? Yes. It was originally built to serve the workers commuting to the Titania mines. But it has been abandoned since the dragon attack. I'll tell the conductor to wait for you at the platform by the side gate to the Metropole first thing tomorrow morning. You're embarking on an extremely dangerous adventure. Please be careful, your majesty and friends. Oh, thank you for your concern. While I'm gone, I leave the Metropole in your capable hands. Yes, yes your, your majesty. majesty. <laughs> Just call me boss from now on. That's what everyone in the Spina calls me, and it's what I'm used to. Quick. What? Like, okay, boss. So, the plan for tomorrow is journey across the ocean, make it to the end of the world, and defeat a dragon. Ooh, that's an adventure and a half. Do all storybook heroes have to work this hard? At least we'll get to see <clears throat> some amazing scenery along the way. Wait, right? Let them die. Besides, we'll have each other. Let them die. It'll be a shared experience that we'll never it's forget. Plus, we're pretty well equipped for a classic heroes versus dragon story. We got Miss Nilu as our magic caster, and I... I guess I'm the He's melee so warrior who leads the charge? Paimon can you. definitely see that. Anyway, those are tomorrow's problems. Right now, all Paimon wants is to eat a proper meal, because worst case scenario, if Paimon ends so up getting eaten by a dragon, she wants to do it on a full stomach. And something about the end of the world doesn't sound like a great place for food options. Hmm. Well, the origami animals in the forest only drink magic tonic. What do the toy people here in Constellation Metropole eat? Vegetable oil and sawdust, I think. Yeah! <laughs> Pie, I wouldn't like it. Is that the end? It is. Oh, uh, hold on. Before I go, let's go to Kiwawa first. Kiwawa! Hey, we're done! So, are you all set? You got me to fucking start investigating? Hell yeah. Well, good. Great! Let's go! If I lie to it, it'd be kind of funny. <laughs> it's just like, um. packages all over, but I've never seen a mysterious fairy tale world like this before. You're walking with a lady. Looks like nobody has gotten around to repairing this house yet. Ugh, even I wouldn't dare to sleep in there. It might suddenly collapse in on you. Oh, we're good phone? Oh, no, we're jogging, okay. Now, what's up, what's up, what's up? Nothing to see here either. Maybe we can find someone to ask? Maybe. Let's go take a look. These you people? You wanna check out the area over there? Okay, I'll wait here for you. Huh? Um... Nah. I was, but you... I was to go this way, why didn't you follow me? That's kinda odd. If you actually be like uh -huh. that. I was sure there'd be people here. There once was a goddess who ruled over fate. Before she died, she left three riddles for the kingdom she had created. What? Who said that? Who the fuck? Long story short, on this day, a sentient feline, an outlander, and a uh, diminutive pixie arrived on the scene. They saw a narrow path off to the side. Okay, but which side? Yeah. If left. you gave ambiguous instructions like that to a Comania Express courier, They'd give you the parcel right back and tell you to write the delivery address more clearly. Despite how obvious the answer was, the perplexed pixie and the flummoxed feline struggled to work it out. 
Although, perhaps a small part of the blame could be attributed to my dull narration. <laughs> right, let's uh, try this again. <clears throat> the path on the left-hand side seemed to give off an enticing fragrance. Fucking baby boys! Say, uh, this is the way to wealth and glory. Ooh, that sounds like the start of a good story. Then what? Then Just what? Stay for now, bro. Oh my god, I think I should only hold an episode for this, actually. At the end of the path, the motley crew would soon spot a secret stone room. A prophecy at once foretold of a marquee who shall one day venture inside, and thus it is named the future marquee's abode to be. You like it? The... Um... Are you sure you don't want to hear the rest? I don't give a fuck! Father gives no shit. Firstly, the place ahead of you is a... Alright, I'm sorry for resorting to extreme measures, but I'm trying to help here. Don't worry, the fencing will disappear as soon as I'm done talking. Wow! Some sort of fence spotting yokai? No, it's not yokai. Um, what do I do now? I'll keep this brief. Firstly, the place ahead of you is a secret room whose purpose, per the legends, is to await the arrival of a certain marquee. Oh, we're cut him off. That's probably why we're doing this. Future marquee's about to be. But secondly, when you get inside, don't sit on the chair in the center, or bad things will happen. There, that's all. Off you go. I was rushing it. <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> hmm? So many summers, winters, springs, and falls. And now, at last, a hero hither strides. This realm knows not what lies beyond its walls. Its secrets miss the new world outside. Next to a wall. New voices. Who are they? Hello? Who the fuck is that? Oh, I mean, who the fuck is talking? Yeah, you don't need this. With wood and earthenware strewn all around, the demon feline's fury can't be quelled. Reducing them to rubble on the ground. She finds the vessels vacant save for uh air? <laughs> she finds long gone the chins that once they held. Are they describing how we broke the boxes and jars? Who are you calling demon feline? So if I broke this? Yeah! Huh? So just that? I guess we did. So did I just read this? I mean, I guess I do. In the name of the Elder, the three chars will help out for this path. Die from this day forth, our people shall harm no one another no more. No more shall we drip the glue into each other's breakfast, nor strike each other's hands with pickaxes, nor secretly drink the gross squirm that does not belong to us. We acknowledge that truth that has been determined by the great clockwork key, and we shall see the fire of truth as supreme. Three witnesses to history, within the future could accord to be, quietly awaits the magic of Kaba, who is fulfilled with Peckle up the great clockwork key. Let this stay one guide us, fulfilling most truth and falcon. Of course, if the highest has not been selected, then we may yet contain in private, within printable limits, but no more glue. It does for too much harm and is utterly immunity. So this glue? Captivated by the epic poetry and enthralled by the outstanding story. Oh, should I talk? Stop the poem. We have a situation. Someone's up with this person. Traveler, uh, are you all right? Turned out there's glue. Try to set up, but the glue's holding you for. <gasps> I'm talk. <laughs> I should have waited with my ass. Ah! <laughs> you may have play us like yourself. The that you can't break free is both that you don't want to tell your clothes in the post. They mean a lot to you. <gasps> oh, like oh, oh, my dick is out. Ah, don't look. Can I give you a hand or a tail, even? <laughs> look at me. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Trying to stand up. You find free and step clothes intact. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> okay. I should have never done that. To remove the clockwork key from the raised platform up ahead. Cafe, I just realized you said we all had to speak like bards, but every time you open up your mouth, I don't hear any rhymes. Yeah, I noticed that too. It's one standard for us, with wood and earthenware strewn all around. The demon feline sphere can't be quelled, reducing them to rubble. What's the, what's the catch in the below? What the hell? Uh, no, no, you don't. 
don't. I wrote that line. Don't start plagiarizing me just because you can't take a bit of criticism. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's not put form over content here. It's not about the rhymes. It's about making sure the Outlanders focus on the clockwork key on that platform. I told you already. Stop calling me Demon Beeline. Kiwa is a Neko and half Yokai. Pull hard? Outlander pulls, but it does not yield. This has happened many times before, but this time is different. A thought enters the Outlander's mind. Attack! Attack! First weaken the structure, then seize the... The attack now over! Only one final step remains! Now it is the time to seize the key! <laughs> oh. But alas, as was the case for all those who had come before, the key still did not move an inch. Wait, what? They got it out? Yes! Finally! Come on, move your butts and your lights, assuming they're still in working order. It's showtime! No hard feelings about your lack of poetic con- Oh, let's hear them, I'll hear them talk. Welcome, esteemed and noble outlander. Allow us to introduce ourselves. We represent the three great clans of this realm, having been selected as its authorized historical supervisors. Our purpose being to await the arrival of one such as yourselves, who shall remove the clockwork key. My name is... You're Cape, he's Albizzi, and that's Boborano, right? You've done so much talking that we can already tell you apart by your voices. Aren't we missing someone, though? The guy who led us here to begin with? Who? <clears throat> And thus was born the long-awaited fellowship, destined to uncover the truth of the past. Allow me to quote, if I may, in Can the just say that of a guy. constellation metropole, a new page has begun. Him. Well, there's no fourth person, so which of you is the ventriloquist? Batman's Come on, successful. out with it. We've never heard that voice before. But he sounds like he'd be good at reading bedtime stories to children. Well, whoever it is, I don't know and I don't care. Forget about him. We have far more important things to focus on. Like, where our journey goes from here. That key you hold is the pivot point about which the past and present of the Metropole revolve. However, between our three clans, there is some... dispute over the historical record. Each clan has its own version of history detailing the clan's origins and the tale of the dragon of old and unfortunately we don't know which one is the truth dragon you mean the one that's been acting up recently kids. oh no 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 not that one you adorable little pixie when i say dragon of old <laughs> he means a dragon that would be really really old if it was still with us today but it was defeated in ancient times the new one has nothing to do with our clan history uh was that supposed to be a joke <clears throat> uh, anyway, so you've been waiting for someone to remove the key so you can finally explore the truth of the past? Not just explore it, but argue incessantly yeah, about it. Honestly, I don't care that much. Cafe's the one who's always bothering us about it. What we need to figure out is who resolved the dragon crisis. We have to know that before we can decide which is the supreme clan. The moment you removed the key from where it was lodged, you became the honorary marquis. We humbly beseech you, noble outlander. <laughs> Call me Ether. Noble traveler marquis, we ask you to help us. You and your... Uh, your talking puss in boots and the pale floating pixie. Am I they call a pussy instead? <laughs> Demon feline, but still. You do just like one. Well, the puss pipe. Embrace it, my friend. Embrace it. Most cats don't wear boots or speak, do they? I'm not even a cat. I'm a Nekomata. Yeah. Now yes. that you know the word, I expect you to use it. Please allow me to lead you all to a sacred memorial site. It will be much easier to explain what needs to be done Flashbacks. once we are there. Got it. Cat to lead the party to the so-called scale memorial site. Uh, this is probably as long as the main story quest. Clan. It's where our brave forefathers once took up arms against the dragon of old. After a bitter battle that dragged on for many days and nights, finally, our forefathers Man. fought the dragon into submission, and it fled. They took turns, though. Some forefathers worked the day shift, yeah. while others worked the night shift. So they work shift while the poor dragon had to work around the clock. So they say. It's just a legend, though. Wait a second. 
<laughs> Did I just hear you admit that your clan's history is just a legend? A history, legend, who cares? My clan was definitely courageous, that's the point. That's the truth. And isn't the truth what we've all been arguing about non-stop for all these years? Cape's words gave the Traveler food for thought. Could it be that the truth in a fictional world is equivalent to fiction in the real world? But that would have to wait. Apparently, Cape was not alone in his pilgrimage to this sacred site. Unwanted company had arrived. The Traveler and the Talking Cat, <clears throat> Nekamata, decided to teach them some manners. There you go! They finally got a wag. Hey, okay. I th I don't have her yet, but you know what? You do get you do get for free apparently, and plus the free outfit. Nice. Burn up, Lenny. It's like burn, burn to flames. But oh, we're not burning anymore. Never mind. Burn, I'll burn them. Uh, we're too strong for that. Prowess and show of courage are a more vivid reenactment of my ancestors' feats. But suit the mod. Like aesthetic. Now, let's get down to business. As we all know, time is but an illusion. Time may flow line by line, page by page, or frame by frame, but usually. It flows in the form of springs and years. And that clockwork key you have in your hand can turn back time and make the past reappear. Well, actually, my view is that the illusion of time is more of a problem of consciousness. Gears power the body while the body is the vessel of the I'll conscious really mind. Mm. But the mind cannot understand the dimension of time, so we experience instead an endless continuum of moments as the pinion of now turns along the rack of ages. I... I'm getting flashbacks to when I was delivering packages to the Sumeru Academia. A teacher once asked Albizzi, what his greatest fear was, and he replied, dragons. Boberano was asked the same question. He replied, time, and repeated the argument we just heard. The teacher then turned to Cape and posed the same question. He replied, Boberano. The manuscript that tells the truth of the historical record, the blueprint to all of creation, the work of the great mage themselves, it can be found at the beginning of the gear rack. And on the very first page of the book. Uh, Paimon didn't follow all that, but basically, you're just saying that we need to put the key in and turn it all the way back? Exactly. It is said that in the beginning, the goddess of creation took the goddess of fate's manuscript as a blueprint, placed it under the goddess of prophecy's starry realm, and generated the world from a few magic arrays. So in a few moments, when the great clockwork key turns the local time here back to the very beginning, we will restore the magic arrays back to their original configuration. Oh, hold on, isn't stealing part of the blueprint of creation a little dangerous? Also, how are we supposed to know the original configurations of the magic arrays? Uh, uh, well, the general shapes of the configurations have been... That was a good dragon spoil, you see that? Now form the family crests of each of our clans. So you'll just need to reference my family crest and join the dots accordingly. Hmm, okay. So, pity down the... Okay, got it. To address your other concern, when the house has already been built, do you really think that taking away the construction crew and blueprint will cause it to collapse? The Traveler Marquis prepares to insert the great clockwork key into the nearby keyhole. Yes, just put the tip in and that's it. There you go! <laughs> hmm... So, view the shape... Oh, uh, what angle? Hold up. Let me hit this. One more. Few more. Few more. So I start from here, huh? Okay. Uh, hey, got it. Okay. Start from there. I guess we should start here. No, no, I got, it, I got it. We got it. I got it. Hey, we do got a chest though. The sacred writings that record the truth of... No, wait. That have shaped the truth of history. Gather round and let us bear witness. 
Oh my god, am I gonna be the whole this? Nope, I am not. Feast your eyes, rejoice, and cheer. For this is the unquestionable truth. Oh, Look at the signature. Nobody is capable of forging that. I don't believe it. So, all along, our histories have been false? Don't lose heart, Albizzi. It does not follow from his is true that ours are false. <sighs> that might be the most bogus logic I've ever heard. But keep up the mental gymnastics, Boverano. Been waiting for that look of jealousy on your face my whole life, and I'm gonna savor it. And yet, it seemed that this conundrum could indeed have more than one solution. Everyone agreed that there may be more than one truth. The party decided to visit the sacred sites of the other clans and see what their documents had to say. Isn't a narrator supposed to remain detached and objective? It feels like you're forcing a narrative agenda on us here. Well, whatever. I'm in a good mood. Let's do it. The instructions say to repeat the process three times, and besides, I'm looking forward to watching you both be sorely disappointed. Let's do my clan next. I'll lead the way. Clans? So they got clans here, huh? Need the key again, right? Well, let me see if I can pull it out. Yoink! <laughs> you said pull it out, that's if you... That's kind of... Okay, actually, I'm gonna stop it there so I can do the rest of the next episode. And do the part two story quest. Oh, well, I'm gonna do it there. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later. Sayonara.